Oh my god, he's wearing a shirt. Don't turn off the video. <laughs> What's up everybody? Hope y'all are having a good week. It's Tuesday right now. Um, yeah, it's Tuesday. So, I actually get the whole week off um, for spring break kind of. It is technically not really a spring break, but I used a couple of my like personal days off and it just ended up working out to where I get <clears throat> most of this week off. I'm going to Las Vegas this week. Um, to hang out with some of my friends from Denver, so definitely gonna vlog that, be on the lookout for that video. Um, so here we go, q and I haven't done with these since I lived in Denver, and there are a couple of repeat questions um, that I got, so if you ask me something and it's not on here, go check my other Q&A video. Maybe I'll like link it right there, I don't know. Um, and uh, you can see if I answered something similar there. Rory Schnarr asks, what are my top five pet peeves? And I thought about this for a little bit. I don't think I have five. I have a couple. I hate when I'm in the car with somebody and they're driving and they leave the windshield wipers on after it has stopped raining. <laughs> that sound that makes really bothers me. Another sound that really bothers me too is like that little zzz, like mosquito sound that like a little buzzing in your ear. Yeah, I can't say that either. So I really don't like when people are late. Um, I'm a very punctual person, um, so if I'm taking the time to be punctual and then you're late, that, that kind of takes me off. So there's three. I can think of three pet peeves. There we go. Andy No asks, "What kind of dog is Arbor?" And she is a Shiba Inu. Uh, they, Majority of Shiba Inus are red, that like, yeah, it's like a golden red color. Um, but she has like the standard black pattern. I don't know if it's rare or anything like that, but I got her about three years ago. Um, she actually turned three in January and I got her in like March of 2013, yeah. Rodel Leon asks, who is your biggest role model? I would say it's my parents. Um, my dad and my mom both bring different things into my personality. I feel like that have made me who I am. I kind of get the um, drive and um, success mindset and set my, uh, my goals pretty high thanks to my dad who has kind of taught me to do that. And then my mom kind of teaches me the compassion and the caring side of uh, humanity that I feel like I have developed a little bit of. You know, my mom is the nicest person in the world, so she kind of teaches me how to look for the good in people. Alfie says, what are some of your favorite TV shows? Um, I love Game of Thrones. I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan. I really like Parks and Recreation, 30 Rock, um, anything that's kind of like bitter, funny like that. My f One of my favorite shows too is South Park. I think South Park is hilarious. It's kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. Um, I like all of the animated, like goofy, family guy, um, Futurama, American Dad. I think those are all really funny too. James522 says, what's my biggest insecurity? And it kind of made me think, what am I pretty insecure about? There are, I mean, there are a lot of things. Everybody's insecure about acne, stuff like that, um, that we all worry about. Um, I am very insecure about being awkward around other people. I feel like sometimes I don't realize when things are awkward and like can make it worse. Another thing that I would say I'm pretty insecure about is um, I have a lot of scars. I don't know if you guys have noticed in a couple of my um, videos where I'm shirtless, but <clears throat> when I was around 17 years old, um, I had something called spontaneous pneumothorax in both of my lungs, um, where they would just randomly collapse, um, spontaneous. Um, so I had a lot of different lung surgeries and chest tubes and things like that. So I have scars all over my chest and on my sides and on my back and stuff like that. And that's something that I'm a little bit insecure about. Rand Morina asks if I watch RuPaul's Drag Race or if I do, who's my favorite drag queen? 
I actually don't watch RuPaul's Drag Race, but I love some of the YouTube drag queens like Willem Belli, I think she's hilarious. Courtney Act, also super funny and sweet and beautiful. Um, and that, who else do they do so with? Alaska and Vicky Vox. My favorite dinosaur. Probably a pterodactyl, right? Those are the ones that fly. Yeah, those are cool. Black XJX says, what do you do to motivate yourself to go to the gym on days when you just don't feel like going? Um, I have those days all the time. I definitely take pre-workout, which is like caffeine, so it kind of gets you pumped up and ready to go. I listen to some music that kind of gets me in the mood to work out. I don't know, whatever gets you going and like gets you accelerated, listen to that. And on those days where you get in there and you just try your hardest, like I, you still go and you just, you're in there and you feel like you're wasting your time, just go through the motions, um, do stuff, whatever you can do. Um, I always feel better if I'm having a bad day in the gym, if I just go ahead and finish all the workouts, even if I have to go down and wait or not run as long or whatever I'm doing, as long as I did something and I leave the gym, I'm like, hey, I went to the gym today and I got stuff done. Javier Herrera says, did it feel weird when you first started dating guys after I came out? Yeah, no, it definitely did. I can remember actually when I was gonna bring my first boyfriend over to meet my parents. Um, and they knew it was, he was coming over and he knew he was gonna meet my parents and we all, everybody knew what was about to happen, but it was just, I was so nervous. Um, I knew that they would be cool and like him and everything like that, but I just got super worked up about it and anxious that it was gonna be awkward and that, you know, what, what do you do? Your dad is shaking hands with your boyfriend. That's just so weird, but it ended up being super cool. and. My parents really ended up liking the guy, and he would come around all the time, and it was, it was no big deal. It's just, at first, yeah, it was kind of weird. <laughs> it takes a little while to get used to. For Jimmy Curtis asks if I have any unusual talents or interests. Um, I can play a couple of instruments, so guitar, piano. Um, I played trumpet through high school and college, for a little while in college at least. So that's kind of a talent, I guess. Evan Rocket Esparza says, how do you feel about gay male sugar babies? Um, isn't that like chocolate? Or no, are sugar babies candy? Isn't that like chocolate candy? Well, I love chocolate, so if it's chocolate, I love it. And if it's not chocolate, it's sugar and I probably still like it. <laughs> oh gosh. <sighs> so thanks guys for asking all of these questions. Y'all are amazing. Um, if I didn't get to your question, I'm sorry, I uh, had a ton of them. So be sure you go check out my other Q&A video. Um, I posted a video recently about some coming out tips too. Um, something, I got a lot of coming out questions that are on there. I have a couple more videos coming out soon. Um, I'm gonna do some about like my exes and um, I have some, like a story about my life kind of thing. So that's kind of gonna answer some of the questions too that I got asked. Um, be sure you follow me on Instagram. Um, Twitter and I just got a Facebook page for my vlog too so you guys can go and check that out if you have any questions put them in the comments below and I'll see if I can get to them like usual I'll see you guys next week